Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to share some unboxings with you. I have three different companies. These are all some new to me um, diamond painting and diamond painting related companies. So uh, I'm just going to jump in. So first I'll start with the smallest one. This is, as you can see, from the Jaded Gym Shop. Uh, if you haven't seen my Vibrant Italy kitting up, I will stick a link up there. So when I was kitting up Vibrant Italy, I accidentally mixed two colors together, 728 and 743. I didn't know if my replacements from Diamond Art Club would get here in time for me to start it. They did. Uh, but I had also ordered some from her. Also, I wanted to see what they were like and the quality and everything. So this is, I think I ordered three grams. I don't remember, but this is what I got. They're square, they are resin, and I checked them against my Vibrant Italy kit and they match really well. So I'm really happy with those. I think I paid four, $4.90, but some of that was shipping. The, the drills themselves are really inexpensive and good quality. So if you haven't tried her out, uh, you should. I will put a link in the description below. So there's those. And then I have two diamond painting kits. Now, these are two new to me companies, but I kind of cheated because I ordered them from Amazon and I will put links in the description below. Uh, but these are new to me diamond painting companies and they have, you can buy their stuff on Amazon. So I did that because that's actually easier for me. We already have an Amazon account and all that stuff. So uh, I'm going to open this one first. This one is from Huacan. And I have never done a Huacan diamond painting before, so I was kind of excited. And I was actually pretty stoked. It came in this really nice package. And let's see, oh, let me move this one out of the way. Okay, so it comes rolled up on this roller, so that's nice. Let's see what I got in my tool kit here. So I got actually, wow, you guys, I'm actually pretty stoked about this. This is one of my favorite boats. I have another one just like this and it's like the right size for my hand. I can shake the drills in it really well and it works awesome. And I have no idea where I got my other one, but I'm stoked to have another one. So that's awesome. So I get two big plates of wax. I get, what is that? A 15 placer maybe. I get a four placer, the pin and a scrunchie, and I get the nice, be careful, don't stab yourself tweezers. So it's a pretty nice tool kit. I'm happy with that. Super happy with the tray. Definitely be hanging on to that. So it is a square kit. So here are my drills. And let me just get into the canvas first. And I should have written down how much these cost, but I didn't. So let me get that off of there. Now, this is double-sided adhesive. Oh, and they've got tape on it here. So let me, let me get that off of there. Okay, back. Okay, guys, I used my little ceramic cutter to cut it. I will peel the tape off because I don't need that anymore. And you can see, well, it goes like this. It's flamingos. I told you guys I've been obsessed with flamingos lately. I don't know why, but I wanted to do a flamingo, flamingo diamond painting. And I found this one and I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Now, this is double-sided adhesive, so I don't wanna roll it the other way because I don't wanna put any rivers or anything in or any bubbles in it. So let me just kind of smooth it out a little bit and try to get it to lay as pretty flat as I can. Let me release the paper. Oh, interesting. So my symbols are this way. Did I get that back down? It's overlapping there a little bit. I don't want it to do that. 
Let me get this laid down pretty well. Okay, let me do this corner. I don't want to peel up the, so if you can see the symbols are actually like I'm going to diamond paint it this way, but the painting is actually oriented the other way. So that's interesting. I mean, I'm going to hang it the other way when I get it done. I'm not going to orient it this way. That's kind of weird. If it was made to be that way, that's kind of weird. All right, let me do this corner down here. Peel it back a little bit. Oh, and you can there, you can see the flamingos, the back of that flamingo. Okay, there it's laying down a little bit better. Now I've got a wrinkle in this one. Gosh darn it. Okay, let me get that wrinkle out. Okay, so now it's laying pretty flat. So it's made to be diamond painted so that it's, you're working on it like this here, but that's kind of weird. Again, I'm going to orient it like this when I hang it. So I don't know why you would want flamingos laying on the their sides. But anyway, so there's the canvas. Let me peel this back a little bit and look. It actually looks really nice. The symbols are really nice and clear. I don't see anything that looks like it's going to give me a problem. It is nice and sticky. Now, I know some of you do not like double-sided adhesive. Again, you do you. I don't mind double-sided adhesive. Um, I, it is not as forgiving as uh, poured glue. That being said, sometimes poured glue is not that great either because stuff is too slidey, in my opinion. Um, but I'm actually fine with it being double-sided tape. I've used double-sided adhesive before. My Josephine wall that I did, my Diana was double-sided adhesive. She turned out awesome. So just have to kind of be careful with it, not to get any bubbles or anything. So, but yeah. Now, I only have one schematic, which is okay. I actually don't refer to the schematic a whole lot anyway. Once I get the symbols, uh, on my containers, I actually kind of do from that. I rarely look at, you know, the schematic itself. I'm looking at the canvas and what my containers are. It does have the DMC codes, which is nice. Um, and then it also tells you the quantity of drills. Now, I know a lot of companies do that. I personally don't know why that matters. I don't care. As long as I've got the drills to do it. I guess if you want to add it up and see. So I'm going to... I can see underneath this um, tape covering if you can't, but I can to see, to measure it. So this is, it is 39 instead of 40, and it is 29 and a half instead of 30. So pretty close to what they said. I got a wrinkle here that I'm going to... Just a wrinkle in the paper, not a wrinkle in the canvas. Okay, now let's look at the drills. And again, I ordered this off of Amazon, but it is a Huacan um, store on Amazon. So again, they're a new to me company. So 35 colors, that's a lot of colors for a 30 by 40. So let's, Let's get into this. And it's square, so I was excited about that too. So we'll see. And, woo! I'm going to guess that's one of the background colors. Look at that sucker. The drill colors, or the bags, also have the DMC code, so that's awesome. Love that. So there's that color. The rest of them are kind of... I would assume my pinks are going to be that big too, but let's find out. So we've got this big bag of turquoise that's going to be part of the background color. So there's that. Let me get that back in the bag. We've got this big bag of um, 9.59. Trying to look at the drills here and see what I see as far as quality. I don't see any dimples. I'm not seeing a lot of tabs. They actually look pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's like a green color. And then we have a darker green. And then we've got like a mint green. 
That one's vacuum packed pretty good. So there's those colors. And then we just have a few, kind of this dark green, a few dark purple, a few just like purple, a few sky blue, some gray, some green, some tan, some very bright kind of coral. That's 606 DMC, love that one. Some kind of pale yellow, some brick red. Wow, there's a lot of colors in here. Okay, some kind of pink, flamingo color, some like dusty pink, a very light green. Let me get these out of the way here so I can see what we still have left to look at. Oh, this is like a sea green. There is another pink. Is that the same color pink as this one? No, they're right next to each other. So 891 and 892. And then there's like a bubblegum pink. There's a green, a dark gray, a kind of a dark pink. There's just a pink. Ooh, there's a very bright pink. Love that color. A kind of terracotta almost color, but light. A dark blue, a light gray, a lavender color. It's kind of a very pale green, a pale yellow, a kind of sky blue, a very kind of whoop, turquoise -y green. And then the last two we have like a mauve and a light brown. So lots of colors, 35 different colors for this canvas. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. I, like I said, I've never done a hula cam before. Um, so I'm excited to try a new to me diamond painting company. And if I didn't mention it, this was $12.97. So let me move this one out of the way so we can look at the other one that I ordered. This is also from a new to me diamond painting company. So it came in this bag and I'm assuming this is the other diamond painting that I ordered. It actually doesn't have a name on it anywhere and it doesn't say what the kit is. So I'm assuming it's that company because I don't have any other diamond paintings out for delivery. So We'll see what this is. The canvas looks really nice. It was a very nice box. Let me find a place for that out of the way. And then, yes, it is the one that I ordered. So this is another new to me diamond painting company. And I was told they're very nice quality. So let's see. I'm actually loving the canvas. It's really, it's that lint canvas. It's got the scalloped edges, so that's nice. And it looks like it's poured glue. So let me just roll this the other way. This is from Tin Me Arts, or Tin My, I don't know how you say it. But they also have a store on Amazon, so I ordered it on from them on Amazon. So let's see what we get in our toolkit here. We get a boat, a large plate of wax, some baggies, some plastic tweezers, and our pink pen. So pretty standard toolkit. And then our drills. So these are round drills. Ooh, there's an AB. So I'm assuming that's probably why the tweezers. And there's another AB over here, it looks like. I'm excited about the ABs. Not my favorite thing to get these little 200 drill packages of drills. Some of them look a little bit bigger. So these are not my favorite thing, but once it's all kitted up, it'll all be good, right? So I saw this one and I'm actually was looking for something with poppies because I want to do um, something with poppies for my DP for Vets event. 
Um, if you haven't heard about that, I will put a link up there to my event announcements. It's not until November, but I wanted to make sure that I had a canvas that I could do as well as everything else. Now, this reminds me a lot of diamond dots. It's got the A codes for um, their symbols. It does also list the DMC number, so that's good. Um, and again, it is Attend Me Arts. This is a new to me diamond painting company. I've never done anything by them before. Uh, the symbols look really nice. I'm happy with the symbols. Those are nice and clear, but again, it really reminds me of diamond dots. So we've got our thumbnail down here at the bottom. So hopefully that's in focus. So it's just some poppy flowers, which if you're in America, we don't really use the poppy as a symbol for uh, Remembrance Day or anything like that, but it is used widely uh, in lots of other places, Canada, the US, or the US, the UK, and other places they use poppies as their symbol for Remembrance Day or and or Veterans Day. So, um, yeah, so let's see. It is nice and sticky. It is poured glue and it is listed as, well, it says 30 by 36. So let's see if it's 30 by 36. It is 22 by almost 28. So yeah, not 30 by 36. At, um. Now this one was 7.99 if I didn't mention that already. It is poured glue, so I like that. And 20 colors. So that's a nice amount of colors for a painting this small. So let's jump into the drills and see what the drills are like here. Okay. So let me move that off to the side. Let's see what we've got. We've got, I'm not seeing a lot of dimples. The drills look good. So we've got 433, which is this dark brown. We've got some forest green. We've got kind of a mustardy brown. We've got a lighter green. We've got a coral color, a very vibrant orange, a kind of a pale yellow, We've got a red. I'm going to guess that's probably why well, I was going to, yeah, it's 666. Oh, interesting. They're not in the order of the DMC. <laughs> so they have these numbers and they've got the DMC, but the bags only have the DMC. Now it does have, is that number four? 938 is not number four. So interesting. I wonder why. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says 938 and then there's a little four after it. But anyway, so there's a dark brown. We've got this kind of peachy color. There's a brick red. We've got this again, kind of mustardy color. We've got, ooh, did I have two 433s? I do. Oh, I wonder if that's to tell me that I ha that's how many bags of each I have. So I've got two of those. No, because it says four bags of 740. So that's wrong. So interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know what those numbers are for, but we'll see. So there's another dark brown. There's that kind of mustard brown again. And then there's two bags of this kind of pale yellow. Oh, there's another bag of that orange. Another bag of 666. There's another bag of 666. There's a dark green, a kind of coral color again, a different red. Let's see, what have I got here? So kind of a light brown. There's that kind of pale yellow again, another light brown, a kind of a 
plant green. And then I've got three ABs, I think. No, I've got two ABs. I've got this bag and this bag, but they're both the same number. This says seven, this says two. Does that have to do with how many grams it is? Maybe, hmm, interesting. Because this four size is kind of in the middle. So I'm wondering if that's what it has to do with it. Maybe this is two grams or 200 drills, I don't know. But anyway, some very pretty orange ABs, love that. And then this one is some very pretty kind of yellow ABs. So love that. Okay, so again, all of these little bags are not my favorite just because I think it gets to be confusing, especially when you get multiple bags of the same color. But as long as I have all the drills to finish what I need to do, then it's all good, right? So I'm actually kind of bummed <laughs> that I bought this one purposely for my event in November because I kind of would like to do this one right now. So... If I didn't say, this one was listed at $7.99. And again, I bought both of these on Amazon and I will link them below, but they're both new to me diamond painting companies, so I'm counting them. Even though I didn't buy them directly from, you know, um, Hua Can or, or Tin Me, I'm counting it because it's their, you know, branded listed stores on Amazon. So yeah, it's all good. So I'm gonna put this back in here because I need to hang on to it so that when my event rolls around, I can do it. And yeah, that's awesome. I'm actually really happy with the Tin Me one. Oh, you guys, I should have left it out, but anyway. So there's the Tin Me Arts one, and here is, whoa, I lost a couple of drills here. Um, the one from Hua Can, and then the one from Tin Me Arts. So really happy with the flamingos, super happy with the poppies. I think those are both gonna be really cool. Uh, looking forward to doing both of them. So there is, along with Jaded Gem Shop, my three of my new to me companies for 2022. And I can't wait to get started on these. I have other kits to finish first though. So I need to get some diamond painting done and I'm gonna head off to do that. Before you leave, please don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thanks so much for watching.